this is a continuance of uh, rekeying without a without the key. So um, this was the one that I just took apart in that last video. The key does not work it. The key code for this one is a uh, five three one two one. If you didn't have a, a key with a key code written on it, you can get it uh, with a key gauge in the the lockbox. But this one's a, a five three one uh, one two one. So I'm gonna um, rekey this thing and show you how uh, you know it'll work after I pin it. So again, I'm gonna take that top plate off again just by prying up. Kind of hard to get up. Just got just flip the side up like that. And it's gonna pop. I kind of keep my my thumb on it like that, not trying to hide it from you. But I know if I uh, if I don't, springs are gonna come flying out. So you want to like kind of hold it on there when it pops off. And then I'm just gonna dump everything out. And I don't know what pins these were, so I'm only gonna save my top pins. So I'm taking the springs. I'm setting them up on my work workspace. And I'm going to take the take the bottom pins, the homeowner pins that I don't know what they are, the curve, curved or the pointy ones, and I'm going to take those out. One, two, three. There's going to be five of them. So that just leaves these top pins here. I'm going to set these up on my work workspace. So this thing's a uh, a 53131. I'm sorry, 53121. Uh, so I'm going to take my cylinder and I'm going to hold it in my left hand and the first the first number is going to go closest to the uh, to the face of the lock here. So the 5, I got to get a 5 pin. So there's 1 2 3 4 5 5 pin. I'm going to drop that here. And then a three, three. I'm dropping these pointed or curved side down. Three, and then a one. And then a two. And finally a one. So that's a... Uh, Five, three, one, two, one. Of course, this key is going to work in it like that because we don't have any extra pins, so everything is going to uh, spin in there right now. So until we finish building it, any key would work it. But then we're going to stack on top of those bottom pins, top pins, and they can go in any order. There just needs to be one per hole. So... There's one, there's two, three, four, and five. And on top of those top pins, we're gonna stack springs. Now these deadbolt springs are a little bit longer than the uh, the entry springs. And if you look in your kit, they're they're separated and they're also um you can kind of look at them until the springs are stuck together. So, sorry. They get twisted together and you have to like kind of, um, see how they're like twisted there? So you kind of have to grab one and like kind of twist it off the other one. Pull in it will just straighten them out and ruin it. So, now that I have top pins and springs in, I can put my finger over this thing and cover it up, put tension on it, acting like the plate's on there, and I'm putting the key in there, and you can see 
it works just fine now. So I rekeyed this this lock to this key without having the um, a key that worked it to begin with. And I'm just going to snap that top plate back on, and it's good to go. So that one's it's pretty easy.